But I quickly demonstrate how I would set up Foundry. Uh, honestly, I don't use Foundry because I'm using a Mac, and for some reason Foundry is very laggy on my Mac, so don't really use it a lot, but I've had to test how this thing works. So how I would do this is I'll create a new scene like this. Um, I'm going to use a background image. Now, important, this is not the map image. I'm just going to set a background on top of which I will then put the maps as tiles. So I have here like a background image with just a repeating ground pattern. Uh, and then I'm going to set the grid to hexagonal columns. And I'm going to set the grid pixel size to 50, which is the smallest that you can set. And then I will set image dimensions. I'll take the padding away and let's just test that kind of grid opacity maybe there and and save yes and that's it so now I have like a base map and the important thing here is like if I'm putting those uh, geomorph map tiles I want this map area to be to be big enough for all the maps I'm going to be using so if I wanted to now change that map area I would oh actually it didn't do the right thing. It some some for some reason it when you load the image it just puts these image dimensions to the size of the image. So I will change that again. I'll put it to five thousand to give myself a uh, what I didn't mean to change that like this a bigger area. So basically now I have plenty of hexes and I don't actually plan to use these as 10 meter hexes what I'm going to do is I'm I'm using these as uh, one third hexes of the 10 meters so basically the three hexes of these is going to be 10 meters across and then I'm going to take a map and this is a map of mine 11 across and it's 1626 pixels high which is important now if the, if the hexes were sideways then I would look at the width and how many uh, hexes they are sideways but now they are from top to bottom so counting these hexes so calculating uh, the height divided by the hex number is going to give me hex size from side to side sadly foundry doesn't use that number it uses from point to point diagonal so for foundry i have to then multiply that by, by this magic number which is 1.1547 i'm going to take one of these maps in this case, I want the hexes to be one third of the hexes on the map. So each 10 meter hex will actually have three hexes across in Foundry. What it means is now this number that I just calculated, I will then divide that by three, giving me a final hex uh, grid size of 56.89, which is 57 approximately. And now I'm finally going to add the map. I'm gonna put this mid dot I have here in the middle of one of the hexes. I always press shift when you're doing this so it doesn't snap out, it just puts it right where you want it. And now as you can see, you will have this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hexes inside your big hex with one in the middle. And now I'm gonna check the other corner because the hex sizing is the real number would have been fractions and Foundry doesn't let you use fact fractions in the sizing. So this bottom corner might not be aligned. So I'm gonna do is now drag this bottom corner and as I start dragging, as you can see, it, it lets you actually distort the image. So I will click uh, Alt, which stops it from distorting. And then I will click Shift, which lets me drop it exactly where I want it. And I'm gonna drop it right there. And that's it. Check the top corner again. Is it in place? Is it aligned? Yes, it is. And then just lock the tile in place before it escapes.